This video is created by Jagrat Creations. It is on purchase of business, accounting for business purchase. Here the business of a partnership firm or a sole proprietor is purchased by a company. I want to solve one sum wherein a business of a sole proprietor is purchased by a company. Just observe the sum on the screen. This is the sum that I intend to solve here before you. Akash Limited was incorporated for taking over the business of A as on 1st of January 2017 when his balance sheet was as under. This is the balance sheet of Mr. A. Creditors, loans, capital, land and building, plant and machinery, furniture, debtors. Fixed assets are purchased at 10% less, goodwill value 10,000. Company realized 10,000 from debtors as agent of the vendor in full settlement and discharge all creditors by, by paying Rs. 8,500. The loan creditor accepted 8% preference shares of Rs. 100 each. In discharge of, their, of the loan, the total amount due to vendor was settled by payment of 2,400 in cash and the balance equity shares of Rs. 10 each. Pass general entries in the books of company. Now in this sum, company is incorporated to purchase the business of A. Generally, business is made of assets, liabilities and its reputation means the value of its earning capacity. Here, company has purchased land and building, plant and machinery, furniture means all fixed assets are purchased at 10% less. For goodwill, company has agreed to pay 10,000 rupees. Out of liability loan of 15,000 is being purchased by the company and this loan is settled by giving preference shares. Company has not purchased debtors and creditors, but company has agreed to collect the debtors on behalf of Mr. A. So company is an agent for collecting from debtors. So here the debtors are 10,500, company realized only 10,000. So 10,500 minus 10,500 is the loss on account of bad debts or discount. This loss is not the loss of an agent means company. This loss is a loss of Mr. A. So company collects 10,000 from debtors of 10,500. 500 is a loss. It is not an expense or loss of the company, but it is a loss of Mr. A. So it will be charged to Mr. A. Similarly, the creditors are 8,900 in the settlement is made with payment is made. The creditors are satisfied by making a payment of 8,500. So 400 rupees are, is a discount that has been earned. Now this discount earned is also not the income of the company. It is the income of Mr. A. And the, at the time of collect, collection from debtors, the bad debt loss is a loss of Mr. A and here the discount received is an income of Mr. A. So company has to pay 10,000 minus 8,500. 1,500 is a surplus left with the company that is to be given to Mr. A. Now on the basis of whatever the amount is due to Mr. A, the amount paid by cash to be 2,400 and the balance amount is paid by equity shares. Now first of all, let me find out the purchase price of the business. For the purpose of finding out the purchase price of business here, I am going to write down what is being purchased at what price and how the amount is paid or payable. That I will write on the opposite side, what is paid or payable. So here, if you observe that some fixed assets are purchased at 10% less. So land and building are purchased 10% less. So land and building are purchased for rupees 18,000. So what is purchased land and building for 18,000? Plant and machinery 10% less. So 3,500 minus 10% 350. 3,150 is the purchase price of plant and machinery. Furniture purchase same way 10% less. So 2,500 minus 10% 250, 2,250 is the purchase price. Goodwill purchased 4 rupees 10,000 over and above. 
loan is purchased 15,000. So net assets purchased total of assets minus total of liability. So this is the amount payable to Mr. A. So at the instance of this purchase of assets and liability, amount payable to A is 18,400. Now this is how the purchase price is worked out and purchase price is to be settled as agreed. Now, here I want to prepare a working note where I have assumed to collect the debtors on behalf of vendor Mr. A. I have also assumed to pay his creditor, to pay his creditor and for that I am required to write down the entry for collection from debtors. Loss on collection will be identified as a loss of Mr. A. I am required to write the entry for payment to creditors. Gain on payment of creditors will be, the, will be identified as a gain of Mr. A. And this is how we are required to write down the entry. For that I want to prepare one working note. Here, debtors that I have assumed to collect 10,500. Last bad debts. Last bad debts means loss occurred at the time of collection from debtors. That bad debts will be deducted. The amount cash received that is to be handed over to vendor Mr. A. I have also committed to pay the creditors on behalf of the firm. When I pay the creditors, I am going to receive the discount. So I will get the net cash balance, net amount paid. So receipt minus payment, I will get the cash balance. On this collection from debtors and payment to creditors, if I am entitled to have any commission, that is also required to be deducted, but in this sum, there is no commission. So amount payable to A will be worked out. Now on the basis of this information, let me prepare a working note. Debtors are 10,500. Creditors are 8,900 to be paid from the collection from debtors. The amount received from debtors is 10,000. So 10,500 minus 10,000 will be identified as 500 discount or bad debts. So similarly, payment made to creditors is 8,500. The difference will be identified as discount received. Now, Find the missing number, 10,500 minus what is equal to 10,000. So 500 is loss on account of bad debt. And discount received, 8,900 minus 8,500, discount received is 400. Now 10,000 minus 8,500, commission is not there. So amount payable to Mr. A is 1,500. This is also 18,400 is also the amount payable to A. This 1,500 is also amount payable to A. Now I want to write down the journal entry for the purchase of business and I also want to write down the journal entry for the purpose of these transactions which I have entered into on behalf of Mr. A. Now let me start. So journal entries in the books of A are to be recorded. Means journal entries is to be recorded in the books of Akash Limited, a new company. Vendor is Mr. A. So here Business purchase account debit 18,400 to A account credit amount payable to A being business of A taken over. Now what is purchased in business? All these assets that are purchased debit what comes in. So here A's account is credited for the amount payable. Now assets are purchased land and building account debit, plant and machinery account debit, furniture account debit, goodwill account debit, two. Creditors account credit to loan creditors account credit to business purchase account credit. This is how assets and liabilities is a part of business and that is credited to business purchase account. Now, the loan creditor accepted 8% preferences. So loan creditors account debit to preferential capital account credit. This is how the loan is settled. Now, these are the entries that I have recorded for purchase of business and his account is credited with 18,400. Now I want to write down the entries for this transaction. When I have committed to collect the debtors of Mr. A, so I get a right to collect money from the debtors. When a right is received, it is identified as an asset. Vendors debtors account debit. Two, vendors suspense account credit. Though I get the debtors of 10,500, I don't commit to pay 10,500 total amount. The amount is subject to bad debt loss. And when the amount is not certain, the amount to be payable 
on collection of data is not certain, not certain so vendor suspense account is to be credited for that. From this vendor suspense account, bad debt loss will be deducted and net amount is left that will be paid to Mr. A after making, after deducting therefrom payment made on their behalf for paying creditors. So here first of all I got the assume the debtors, vendor status account debit to vendor suspense account being assumed to collect the vendor status. Now I have also co committed to pay creditors on behalf of vendor. So creditors are 8,900. So it is not likely that I am going to pay 8,900 totally. It is a likely amount. So amount is not certain. So the transaction vendor suspense account debit to vendor creditors account credit. Creditors is an obligation to pay. Liability has got credit balance, so it is credited and the amount corresponding effect is given to vendor suspense account. Why vendor suspense account? Here also vendor suspense account credited with 10,500. Vendor suspense account is debited with 8,900. This is the difference between the two is a likely amount to be paid to vendor. So at present I say that 10,500 minus 8,900 is the likely amount to be paid subject to changes that occur in light of losses occurs at the time of collection from debtors or the incomes and gains occur at the time of payment of creditors. In light of that, the difference between this 10,500 minus 8,900 is subject to change. And as the amount is subject to change, amount is not certain, the word suspense is used. Now, debtors are assumed. We have also assumed to, assumed to pay the creditors on behalf of Mr. A. Now we start collecting the money. Next. Now amount is 10,000. Bank account debit. Cash or bank account debit. Now 500 is the bad debt loss. 500 is a bad debt loss. Expenses and losses are debited. If it is my expense and my losses, I will debit expense and losses in my books of accounts. But these are the expense and loss of mystery which I am required to deduct from the amount payable to it. So his yes, suspense account will be debited. So yes, suspense account debit 500, 2, vendor's debtor's account debit 10,500. So amount collected from debtor's 10,000, amount total settled 10,500, again that amount received is 10,500 is a loss, that loss is debited to vendor's suspense account. To that extent, amount payable to vendor declines. Now look at the creditors. Now creditors, they are paid, vendor's creditor's account debit, the amount payment is 8,500, so cash goes out, 8,500 credit what goes out and 400 is the additional amount to be payable to vendor because this is a gain of vendor. This discount receive is not my personal income of the company, it is an income of the vendor. So income of the vendor is to be credited to vendor suspense account. If there is a loss for loss to be sustained by the vendor, vendor suspense account is to be debited. And that's what I have done while debiting vendor suspense account with the bad debt loss. So bad debt loss is debited to vendor suspense account, discount received is credited to vendor suspense account and by that we can work out the net amount payable to the vendor. Now the amount payable to vendor is what? 1500. So now suspense is no longer existing. So you have to close vendor suspense account. So vendor suspense account debit to Mr. A account. Now the amount payable is certain. So A's account is credited with 1500. So long as the amount was not certain, the amount stood in the title of vendor suspense account. Moment the amount decided that this is the net amount to be paid to Mr. A, then vendor suspense account gets closed and A's account is to be credited for the amount payable. Now total amount payable, 18,400 plus 1,500. But also, the total amount due to vendor was settled by payment of 2400 in cash and balanced by equity share of rupees 10 each. So A's account debit to cash account and balance paid by equity share. So 19,900 minus 2400 is the value for which the equity shares are given. So 19,900 minus 2400, 17,500 are the equity shares given. The journal entry for that is account debit to cash or bank account credit to equity share capital account credit, this is how A's account is set up. Now, I have recorded all the journal entries in the books of company for the purchase of business. I want to demonstrate all the entries at one place, just to observe. So, these are all the entries 
that I have recorded while solving the sum. While solving the sum, I have, I have also recorded the narration. Here you find all the journal entries without narration. This is a simple sum that I have tried to explain to you. I feel that you have followed all these things. Thanks to you.